Hello everyone, Shanice here, also known as SLW Create. I am so excited to team up with Maron Makeup and share with you this quick tutorial of my beautifully ghoulish pinup zombie gal. So let's begin. Note that I already cleaned, prepped, and primed my face as well as laid down my brows. You see me here doing a rough layout of where I will be placing my zombie wounds using Maron's eyeliner pencil in brown. Here we have what is going to be the MVP for this look, Maron's Extra Flesh and Fix It A Bay. As I mentioned before, the previously drawn lines will be my guide for the placement of Maron's Extra Flesh. You can see that I am using the rounded dull end of a Maron spatula to place, carve, and smooth the edges of the wax. Not only is this wax extremely pliable, but it even has added fibers within, making it much more skin-like compared to other waxes. And what's even greater, you can use this product without applying any starter adhesives. It just naturally adheres to your skin. Fix It of A is a key step to not only seal in the extra flesh wax, but also remove the wax's natural tackiness and also blend in any thick edges seamlessly with your skin. Dipping into Maron's Bruise Wheel, I'm actually going to use this as my skin base color and mixing it with my Everyday Cream Foundation in my shade. I'm going for a campy horror zombie vibe, and a big inspiration for my choice of going green was Dan O'Bannon's 1985 Return of the Living Dead's Green Half Zombie. Using the blue-violet mixed with the green of the color wheel, I'm contouring my face as well as giving my cheekbone and eye a more sunken in zombie feel. Once I'm completely satisfied with the cream color placement, I go all in with Maron Setting Powder. This will set your cream makeup and deter it from shifting. Going back to the color wheel, I lightly and sporadically tap in the color for each wound first with yellow and then maroon over top. Then going into the blue-violet shade, I again lightly tap in the color only around the circumference of each wound giving the effect that these wounds are not fresh and trying to heal. Using the light red, blue violet, and yellow of the color wheel, I lightly draw in veins coming from each wound with a detailed brush. Maron's coagulated blood did not disappoint to elevate this look. Coagulated blood is a highly thick, syrup-based SFX product. It does not drip, and it gives the perfect effect of a healing clotted wound. Maron's blood splatter drips and runs like blood as well as darkens over time. A few sprays gave the perfect amount of added detail without overpowering the rest of my progress. And there you have it, my pinup zombie. Please feel free to tag me if you recreate this look. Maron and I would love to see all of them. With that, to all my ghosts and ghouls, happy haunting!